and I am going to teach you real quick how to do the beta version upgrades and what does that mean and if you really need to use them. Think of beta as like a sneak peek for your favorite app. Exciting, right? A beta version is like a movie trailer for apps. It gives you early access to new features before the official release. Developers use betas to gather feedback and squash bugs. So when you use a beta, you're helping make the app even better. It's like being on the VIP list for app improvements. Cool, huh? So next time you see a beta, jump in and be a part of the action. if you use apple devices apple phones uh, then you need to do a, a little bit different i use android but uh, most of the time where i get all my information it's on the facebook on the uh, dwarf lab social media pages um, on facebook and also there is a very good page that it's uh, for dwarf three uh, users and this page keeps uh, keep us uh, pretty well informed on the uh, upgrades and beta versions. And this is an example of the uh, latest one on November 22nd, 2024. And for iOS, you first have to uh, download the test flight app hole. They provide a link and I am going to put also the link in the description. And once you uh, join the test flight then you're going to be able to download the uh, beta version for iOS uh, you have to join the beta testing group and I will also put the uh, uh, link on the description and that way you can click on it and fill all the information and most of the time what happened for the Android users, well, it's my experience is that you have to, you'll get a link, uh, which the name is APK link, and you will have to download that link into the device first, the device uh, that you're going to use with the uh, Dwarf 3 or the Dwarf 2. Okay, so uh, this is the page right now that I use to install the APK link. And this is what it takes you once you click on that link that Dwarf Lab provides. And in my case, because I am doing the Android device and they, you need to uh, take a photo, the QR code with the device that you are going to be using. In this case, I use a tablet, but I also use uh, cell phones. It's also important to know that if you're going to use the beta versions, it's important that you delete the, the previous app, the app that you currently have before installing beta version. So it's showing me down here on the settings, the little red dot, the little red dot, uh, light. And that means that now after I downloaded the APK link, I need to uh, do an upgrade. So now I am back into my device, into settings. And let me just go ahead and go here and down here it's when it's going to say firmware upgrade and I have to do that and now I need to connect to the internet and I know what it's going to happen obviously it's going to disconnect from the telescope but I need to do that so let me just go ahead and connect okay so now I am connected to the internet and that part is done Okay, and finally, I got here the latest version, which it's 1.17, but I am going to do this, okay? <laughs> Let's go through all these processes again. And as you can see, it's doing the upgrade. 
Okay, so now it's telling me uh, firmware upgraded. Please restart the telescope. Okay, so now I'm going to restart the telescope. Okay, let's just go ahead and start. Wait like 10 seconds or so. Firmware, uh, firmware upgraded. Please restart the telescope. Okay, I did that. Let me see here on again on my device. Okay, so I need to connect again. Of course, I have to connect the telescope now. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm struggling a little bit here with the screens because this is showing right now on portrait. Connection successful.